So the i30N suspension is eight millimeters lower than the regular i30, and this results in a firmer ride, but it's actually not as firm as I was expecting. It does a road noise, of course, due to the firm suspension and size of the alloys, you will experience some of those impacts resonate throughout the cabin, though it's not too distracting. I absolutely love the driving position inside the i30N. The side pillars here aren't particularly bulky either, so they don't obscure your view at junction and traffic lights too much. The view out the back window is fine for a vehicle of this class. And my over the shoulder view, we do encounter a chunky rear pillar, but there is a pane of glass on that. So it's actually quite handy for maneuvering out those tight gaps. Plus you get front and rear parking sensors and a rear view camera standard. So all in all, visibility is actually pretty good for a vehicle of this class.